Hello everyone, welcome back to our online lessons. I am Nijat. I will be here with you for two hours. Today's topic is about prepositions for elementary level. And you can see from the picture here, prepositions we will be talking about. And I will be here for two hours from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. And I hope you will learn new things and you will enjoy our lessons, okay? And uh, let's start. Let's start our lesson. How can we use prepositions? And uh, we have a prepositions of place and time, like at, in, and on. How can we use them? Where can we use them? And we will use and we will learn some new rules related to these prepositions. So, uh, be like before starting to talk about. Uh, this grammar, I'm gonna show you some pictures, like here, as you, as you see, and you can see a box, and you can see the list of uh, prepositions. Great. So, uh, I wanna ask you to leave a comment if you have any problem, if you have any question, okay? And you can go to our Just English YouTube channel, and you can write your comment. And if you have any question, if you have any problems, if you don't understand, you can ask me and I am here to help you. I am here to answer your questions. So, prepositions for elementary levels. Let's start from, like, firstly, in. Let's talk about in. How can we use in? So, in, it means içinde. İçinde. Where is the cat? Cat. Uh, nerededir? The cat is in the box. Okay, in, it means it's in there. Great. The next one, next one is on. On, okay. So, how can we use on? The cat, the cat is on the box. Great. The cat is on the box. And under, under. Okay, under. So the cat, if you look at the cat here, you can see the cat is under the box. The cat is under the box. Great. And I'm waiting for your comments to write a sentence for the next one. The next one is in front of. Okay, let's look at in front of. In front of the cat is blah, blah, blah the box. So, the cat is in front of the box. Kedi kutunun önündedir. The cat is in front of the box. Okay? Behind, arkasında. Yes, behind. Arkasında, the cat is behind the box. Okay? The next one is next to you. Next to you. Can you repeat after me? Next to. That's great. And let's make a sentence about next to. So, are you ready to make a sentence for next to? I am waiting for your comments to write a sentence about next to. Okay, can you tell me? Can you write? I am waiting for your comments for next to. The cat, I am help I'm helping to you. Okay. The cat is next to the box. Great. Thank you, Sula. Azima, Sula, and Elif. Yes. Our active students. The cat is next to the box. Great. And above. Above. The cat is above the box. Üzerinde. Uh, like, pay attention. Here. Like, üzerinde, we have, like, two prepositions with the same meanings. And yani iki tane prepositionımız var. Aynı anlamda ama, uh, if we are talking about on, like, the cat is on the box, the cat touched the box, okay? Yani kedi kutunun üzerinde dokunuyor. Look at, look at its legs here. But kedi üzerinden, like, it's jumping over or above the box here. Kedi dokunmuyor. So, in this case, we should use above. 
the cat is above the box. Great. And below, below, like here it touches and here it doesn't touch. Like the cat is below the box. Okay, below the box. And next one is about between. Arasında the cat is between two boxes or between the boxes. Okay, so the cat is between the boxes. Great. And I'm gonna show you the next one on the left. On the left, like the cat is on the left of the box. Okay, can you repeat after me? The cat is on the left of the box on the left of the box okay on the left solunda okay great opposite karşı karşıya the cats are opposite to each other right and the last one on the right sağında on the right sağ tarafında on the right side of the box okay the cat is on the right side of the box great so this one is about the prepositions of place and the next one i'm gonna show you uh <clears throat> like about the directions for example uh, like movements also we can say like the first one is about up yukarıdoğru okay up up okay for example uh, go up, go up, aşağıya, go down, go up, go down, over, over, üzerinden, over, over, great. And next one too, for example, I am going to the class, two, two, I am going to the cinema. I am going to the supermarket. Nereye? A e ya ya. You say in Turkish. Uh, like we use it too. Okay, too. I am going to come to me, for example. Or the next one. Away from. Away from. Away from. Like try to go away from. Blah blah blah. And past, you can say past, past, into, for example, can you put the books into the uh, box or can you put the ball into the box? Yes, okay, and out of, it's there then, dışarıya, like the, can you take your books out of the box? box please or your bag please can you take the ball out of the bag please great fantastic and around around i don't know uh the meaning of around in turkish like i i don't know the translation um how can i translate it to turkish but for example we are sitting around the table we are Sitting around the table to eat breakfast. We are sitting around uh, around the table to eat breakfast. Great. Uh, thank you. Dilek Tanju and Buse Milde Seletra from the Trevresinde. Yes, around it means Trevresinde. Great. On to Uzerine. Uzerine. For example, uh, can you put the ball onto the uh, box, please? Or could you put your papers onto the shelves? Like onto üzerine. Onto üzerine. Great. Of, uh, done, then. Like, for example, uh, the ball was going to drop off the box. Drop off. Uh, uh, in Turkish, I think it is, yeah, this sentence like a drop off, okay. And 
and also we can say drop from and across from one side to another across here a through between then like um, we should pass through the forest uh, ormanlığın içinden geçmemiz gerekiyor like pass through through içinden bir şeyin içinden okay through through can you repeat after me through great along boyunca for example i love um walking along the streets uh, along the streets in the evenings okay I love walking along the streets uh, in the evenings. So we can use we can use along. Great. So any question? If you have any question related to these propositions, please let me know, and I will tell you the exact meanings. And I I can show you uh, the some examples related to these ones. Okay. And let's. Continue. Let's continue. How can we use at and how can we use in? How can we use on? Uh, firstly, prepositions of place we are talking about. Okay. In general, as you see, uh, let me make it bigger. Yes, great. Everybody can see. Great. So, prepositions of place and time. Like today, we will learn two types of prepositions. Related to place and time. Perfect. And next one, uh, like you can see here, like we generally say at a point in an enclosed space on a surface. Like at bir noktada in kapalı bir yer on bir şeyin üzerinde. Yani yer, uh, yerle ilgili propositions, uh, propositions we will learn today. Bugün öğreneceğimiz. Yer ve zamanla ilgili propositionlar olacak arkadaşlar. Uh, how can we use at? How can we use in? And how can we use on? But you can see from the chart, from the table here, at the bottom of the page, like firstly, let's start with at, continue with in, and finish with on. Okay? So the first one, at the bottom of the page. At the bottom of the page, sayfanın aşağısında. Okay, for example, here we can say, great. So at the bottom of the page, at the bus stop, otobüs durağında. Great. Uh, at the corner, köşede. At the crossroads, uh, sokak kesişmesi mi? I don't know, yol kesişmesi mi? In Turkish you say. At the door, kapıda. At the end of the pass, yolun sonunda, at the entrance, girişte, at the front desk, uh, like a reception, uh, reception, for example. Uh, I don't know the, the, the meaning of this word in Turkish, front desk. Like you can say in the companies we have a front desk uh, employees, or at the same time you can see them uh, in the hotels. Yeah. Okay. At point where at the bottom of the page at the bus stop at the corner at the crossroads at the door at the end of the path at the entrance and at the front desk great so we have already talked about at for showing the point and let's continue with enclosed space enclosed space enclosed space uh, kapalı bir yer, kapalı bir alan. For example, in a box. Uh, in a box, kutunun içinde. In a building, binanın içinde. In a car, uh, arabanın içinde. In France, hmm. in France. In, in şehir ve uh, nenele kullanılıyor? Şehir, şehir isimleri veya Ülke isimleri, for example, France, Istanbul, Turkey, İzmir, uh, Frankfurt, Germany, USA. So, we use in, okay? Uh, for example, I live in France. Ben Fransa'da yaşıyorum. 
Yes, so let's say it's in London. Yes, for example, where are you from? I am from London. I live in London. Okay, yes, that's the correct answer. And in my pocket. Uh, in my pocket, dibimde. So how can we make a sentence? I'm waiting for you to make uh, different sentences, okay? Can you write a sentence for in my pocket? How can we make a sentence for in my pocket? Can you tell me? Can you tell me a sentence uh, for in my pocket? For example, money. My money. Benim param. Okay. Nerededir? Zibimdedir. Benim param zibimdedir. So, my money is in my pocket. Yes, that is the correct answer. My money is in my pocket. Great. My money is in my pocket. Great. In my wallet. In my wallet. For example, my identification card or my ID card benim kimliği kartım. Okay. Uh, cüzdanımdadır. My identification card is in my wallet. It's in the kapalı bir yer. In Paris. Söylediğim gibi, as I told you before, we can use in with cities and country names. Like before the city names and country names, guys. So, I live in Paris. Okay, where are you? I am in Paris. Paris'teyim veya Paris'te yaşıyorum. I live in Paris or I am in Paris. Where do you live, guys? Okay, the question to you. Where do you live? Can you tell me where do you live? Okay, Mr. Machinist, uh, like, wrote a comment, hand in my pocket. Yes, that's the correct. Lucky. Let me correct it. Let me um, make it better. For example, my hands are in my pocket. Ellerim uh, in my pockets. And diplerim nedir? Dibimde olmaz. Yani iki tane el bir dipte olamaz. Like my hands are in my pocket. Great. So, uh, where do you live in? Next a question I ask you. Where do you live in, guys? Where do you live in? All right, I'm waiting for your answers to my question. Can you answer to my question, please? Where do you live? The name of the place, for example, you can say, I live in Istanbul. I live, for example, in Kadıköy. Yes, but you can mention the name. For example, I live in Kadıköy. Uh, Dilek says, I live in Izmir. Great. Okay, thank you. Azime says, I live in Istanbul. Thank you, Azime. What else? What else, guys? Where do you live in? I live in Istanbul. Busa says, I live in Tekirdağ. Sıla says, I live in Tekirdağ. Okay, Busa, which part of Istanbul do you live in? Hangi uh, yerinde yaşıyorsun? Which part of Istanbul do you live in? You can say, for example, I live in Kadıköy. Yes, I live in Istanbul. That's the correct answer. I live in Tekirdağ. Thank you. And the next one in the garden. Okay. Bahçede. Kapalı bir alan. Okay. So there, uh, there's a border uh, surrounded like garden is surrounded by the borders, walls, uh, divarlar, hasarlar, uh, tarafından sevrilenmiş. Uh, okay, like, uh, like well, you can say, my dog, my dog is in the garden. Benim köpeğim uh, bahçededir. My dog is in the garden. Okay, thank you, Buse. Uh, she says she lives in Çatalca. Thank you. And next one is about on. Üzerinde. Bir şeyin üzerinde. For example, on the page. Sayfanın üzerinde. Sayfanın üzerinde. On the carpet. Halının üzerinde. On the ceiling. Uh, ceiling. Havan. I don't know. 
uh, I'm sorry, I don't know the meaning of this word in Turkish. On the ceiling, on the cover, uh, on the door, kapının üzerinde, er, uh, I don't know this one as well. On the floor, döşemenin üzerinde, you say, on the menu, menuda, divarda, on the wall, okay? Again, on the page, on the carpet, on the ceiling, on the cover, on the door, on the flower, on the menu, and the last one, on the wall. Tavan, yes, thank you, tavan, on the ceiling, tavanda, great. Okay, and uh, let's continue with some examples here. Okay, uh, my questions, and you can see from the uh, sentences how can we use in, and how can we use on, and how can we use at here. Like you can see, do you live in Italy? The first question, yes I do, no I don't. Yes, I do. No, I don't. So, where do you live? I live in Italy. Where do you live? I live in Italy. Yes. Yes, I do. I live in Italy. No, I don't. I don't live in Italy. I live in Turkey. Yes, I live in Istanbul. Not Italy. Great. And next sentence, next example. You can see I have a meeting in Birmingham. Like you can see Birmingham, I have a meeting. The name of the city, Birmingham. Yes, because of the city, we use in. Like I have a meeting in Birmingham next week. Hafta ya Birmingham, Birmingham. Görüşüm var. I couldn't pronounce the Birmingham in Turkish. Okay, Birmingham. I live on the sixth floor in the flats at 21 like 21st High Street in Fortbury. Like, I live on the 6th floor, 6th uh, flat, uh, in the flats, okay? You can see flat is in British English. Uh, at 21 High Street in Portbury. In 21 High Street Sokanda. Okay, 21st High Street in Portbury. You can say, yes, great. Okay, uh, Busa says, uh, yeah, floor is cut. Thank you. Thanks so much. Uh, Mr. Honor says I am Turkish. Thank you. And hello again. Okay, and next one. My train arrived at the main station. My train arrived at the main station in Liverpool and departed for Manchester after a five minute wait. Great. So, my train, benim trenim, uh, at the, arrived at the main station in Liverpool. Liverpool'da esas önemli olan stasyona vardı. And departed for Manchester. Manchester'a gitti 5 dakika sonra, yani 5 dakika beklemeden sonra. After 5 minutes wait, it departed for Manchester after. Yes. Yani nerede? Liverpool'da. In Liverpool. Okay. Peter is waiting for you at the cinema. Cinema da Peter seni bekliyor. Where? Uh, there's a point. Yer, konum. Okay? At. That's why we should use at. So, Peter is waiting for you at the cinema. Someone has spilled wine on this menu. Bir uh, kimse, yani herhangi bir insan, dökmüş. Ne dökmüş? Menün üzerine... Uh, shut up the English, like has spilled wine on this menu. That's why we use on in front of uh, the menu. Great. All right. Okay. Let's let's continue. Like prepositions of place and time at in on. Susan works in an office. Susan nerede çalışıyor? Bir ofiste çalışıyor. Uh, why we used in office kapalı bir alan. <coughs> Biz neredeyiz? Yani Susan'ın neresinde? İçinde olduğu için, içinde bulunduğu için we say Susan works in an office. Susan ofiste çalışıyor. Ofisin içinde çalışıyor. Like Susan works in an office, right? And the church 
is at the end of the streets on the right. Uh, church, okay, is at the end of the street. Sokan sonunda sağdadır. Sağ tarafta duruyor, the church. The earth is in the solar system. The title is on the cover of the book. There are spotlights on the wall. When will you arrive at the hotel? And you are standing on his foot. Great. You are standing on his foot. Bazak üzerinde duruyorsun. Like I can translate like it means it's hurting. Please uh, put your like go away. Go back, like you're standing on his foot. When will you arrive at the hotel? Hotel ne zaman varacaksın? There are spotlights on the wall. Noktalar var, şıklı noktalar var. Divarda, spotlights. The title is on the cover of the book. Kitabın üzerinde, başlık. The title, yazı, like. Kitabın üzerindedir. The earth in the solar system. I can't translate it to Turkish, I'm sorry. The church, I don't know the church. Kilise, like this. You can say. All right, <coughs> and we have uh, standard expressions. Yani standard, hep kullanacağımız bir ifadeler var İngilizce'de, İngiliz dilinde. Uh, bunlar hep uh, aynıdır, yani değişmiyor. At home dersiniz. Where are you? I am at home. Okay. Uh, I am at work. Okay. You shouldn't say, uh, I am in work okay it is wrong and ben işteyim demek isterseniz in dememeniz gerekiyor on dememeniz gerekiyor always we will use at hep kullanacağımız kelime at olacak okay ya yani bu standart ifadeler bunları ezberlemeniz gerekiyor you should memorize these standard expressions in order to use in your uh speaking okay so uh let's start with at and you can see we have at firstly on the left side in the middle we have in and on the right side we have on uh, the number one like at home okay we are at home or the famous word famous expression everybody says what everybody says because of coronavirus they say stay at home evde kal stay at home Everybody should stay at home in order to protect themselves from the coronavirus. Yes. Uh, stay at home. Stay at home. Work. I am at work. Ben işteyim, çalışıyorum. I am at work. Okay. All right. And next one. At school. At school. Okulda. At university. At college. So. Like inst institutional names such as school, university, or college, we use at, at school, at university, at college. Great. And you can see at the bottom, at the top, at the side, yukarıda, aşağıda, veya yan taraf, at the side. Okay? So at the side is... Um, like we always use at with the top, the bottom, with the side. At the top, at the bottom, and at the side. And the last one at reception. At reception. Great. At reception. Okay. And let's continue with uh, in. Like you can see in a car and on a bus. Sorabilirsiniz neden arabanın içinde oluyor? Yani in oluyor. Uh, otobüsün içinde in kullanmıyoruz. It's nice question. It would be nice question to me. And let me tell you. Let me tell you why we use in, why we use on. Yani küçük bir şeyler uh, olduğunda uh, ne kullanılırız? In kullanılırız. In a car. Yani bir Şöyle giriyoruz, okay? In a car. In a car. Ama otobüs, e, otobüse, trene, e, dikey formada. 
I can explain. Like you are stepping in. Böyle yapmanıza gerek yok. Like directly. Okay. So we use in a car, on a bus. In a car, on a bus. In a taxi, on a train. Taksinin içinde, trende. Yani trende şöyle girmenize gerek yok. Trene normal uh, formada, normal şekilde giriyoruz. Okay. Okay. In a helicopter, helikopterin içinde. On a plane, um, on a plane, on a plane uçakta. In a boat, in a boat, in a boat. Çık uh, gemi. On a ship, büyük bir gemi. Çünkü küçük olduğunda in oluyor, büyük olduğunda on oluyor. In a lift, in an elevator. Okay. In a lift. B. Uh, lift. Asansörde, asansörün içinde. Lift or elevator. On a bicycle, on a motorbike. Yani bir şeyin üzerine binip uh, sürersin ise we use we use on a bicycle, on a motorbike. Okay, let me check your comments if you have any questions. Dilek Tamcı ayakta binebildiğimiz taşlarda on. Thank you Dilek. Like I wanted to say it in Turkish but I was a I wasn't able to like say. I wasn't to tell it in Turkish. That's why um I didn't say yes. Thank you. Thanks so much for your translation service. Miss Dilek in the newspaper, gazetede, on a horse, on a camel, atın üzerinde ve devenin üzerinde. In the sky, and we shouldn't say on the sky, semada, sema mı diyorsunuz? I don't know in Turkish. In the sky demeniz lazım, okay? Semada, yani semanın içinde oluyor, üzerinde olmuyor. In the sky, not on the sky. And on the radio, on television. Pay attention. On the radio, on television. Thank you, Mr. Makinis. Gök yüzünde. Okay, great. Gök, uh, gök yüzünde. In the sky. All right. And uh, radio da, television da. In a row, uh, in a row, sırada. On the left, solda, on the right, sağda. Yani sırada olduğumuzda, yani sıranın içinde olduğumuz için in oluyor. In Oxford Street, uh, sokaklarla in oluyor. Okay, eğer sokağın karşısında bir numara kullanırsak, kullanırsak, for example, 21st Oxford Street, 21. Oxford sokağı dersek, o zaman add oluyor. Yani bir konum paylaşıyoruz ama genel olarak, Sokakla, sokakların karşısında, like in front of the street, we must use in, okay? So, instead of uh, using at, uh, in front of the like, street, we will use in, okay? Yani in kullanılırız. Eğer kesin bir, yani dakik bir konum olursa at oluyor. For example, Jirin Birinci Oxford Street, when you first Oxford Street, o zaman at kullanılırız. On the way, yolda. Great. Any question, guys? If you have, let me know, please. Let me know. I am here uh, to answer the, all your questions. Okay? Don't worry about that. I will help you with any situations here. Uh, you can ask me that teacher be used in with car, taxi, uh, like helicopter, but be used on, like as I told you. If we are talking about a small vehicle, yani küçük bir araçlardan konuşursak, uh, in olacak. Yani car, küçük bir araç, araba, taksi, helikopter. Ama büyük bir, bir şeyler, yani ayakta durduğumuz bir şeyler, bus, durabileceğimiz on the bus, on the plane, on the ship, we will use on. Great. And traveling on animals. Yani hayvanlar üzerinde seyahat, uh, hayvanlarla seyahat yaparken. For example, on the horse, on the uh, camel, okay, and vehicles which we ride similarly to a horse we use on. For example, on the motorcycle, on the 
uh, bicycle. Okay, that's great. Prepositions of place and time. Like yer, uh, yerle ilgili olan prepositionları öğrendik. Şu anda we will continue with prepositions of time. Zamanla ilgili prepositionlara devam edelim. Uh, eğer şuna kadar bir sorunuz varsa arkadaşlar yazabilirsiniz. Uh, <coughs> Facebook'tan yazabilirsiniz. YouTube üzerinden yazabilirsiniz komentlerinizi, sorularınızı. Herhangi bir probleminiz, sıkıntınız varsa yazabilir, sorabilirsiniz. Uh, veya Instagram sayfamızdan Just English TR Instagram sayfamıza gidip oradan follow yani bizleri izleyebilirsiniz. Uh, takip edebilirsiniz. Uh, haftalık programlar Uh, programları görebilirsiniz. Uh, which levels we have, which lessons, and even you can see the name of the teachers. Okay. Don't forget to subscribe us on the YouTube, on uh, the Facebook, and on in the Instagram and uh, Twitter as well. Great. So let's continue with the prepositions of time. Yani zaman bildiren prepositionlar hakta. Um, Aa, zaman bildirilen, zaman bildiren preposition hakkında konuşalım arkadaşlar. We use at uh, with a precise time. Yani dakik bir zaman varsa, yani dakik bir zaman. For example, at 3 o'clock, saat 3'te. For example, my lesson uh, started at 2 p.m. Benim dersim saat 2'de başladı. Okay, my lesson started at. At 2 p.m. At 2 o'clock in the afternoon. So, sorry. Uh, dersim 3'te başlar. Yani dakik bir zaman varsa uh, biz at kullanırız. Kullanırız. At 10.30 a.m. Or at half past 10 a.m. 10.30'da. At noon. Uh, öğlen. Yani 12'de. Dakik bir zaman. <coughs> at dinner time. At bed time. At sunrise, at sunset, and at the moment. Hal hazırda şimdi. Yani bunlar dakik bir zamanlar olduğu için, yani uh, precise time olduğunda, as they are uh, showing the precise time, we should use at dinner time, at midnight, at night, at noon, at sunrise, at sunset, yeah. And Silla says that at midnight, yes, yeah, that is the correct answer. We can also use at night, at midnight, at no. Thank you. Thank you so much for your comment. And uh, if we are talking about month, eğer uh, aylar hakta konuşursak, yıllarla, uh, centuries, yüz yıllık mı diyorsunuz? I don't know. Yüz, yüz yıllık, yes. Long period, yani. Bir uzun zamanlar hakta, daha büyük zamanlar hakta konuşursak, ayların karşısında mesela in kullanırız. In May, in April, in January, in February, in March. Okay? Uh, air uh, seasons. If we are talking about seasons, we use what we use uh, in. In summer, in winter. In fall, in autumn, in, uh, for example, which one I forgot, in spring, yes. And mevsimlerin uh, karşısında in kullanırız. Like in summer or in the summer, okay. Yılların karşısında, for example, in 1990, in 1992, in 1991, in 1993, or in 2020, in 2009, okay, or 90'larda, in the 1990s, okay, in the 1990s, great. In the next century, uh, sonraçı yüzyıllıkta, in the ice age, buz dövründe, yes. In the past, in the future, eskide, yani geçmişte veya gelecekte, great. So, uh, let's review it again. Yeniden tekrarlayalım. Ayların karşısında, mevsimlerin karşısında, yılların karşısında, 
100 yıllık varsa, century varsa, for example, in the next century, in the last century, yani eski 100 yıllıkta, gelecek 100 yıllıkta in kullanırız. Uh, bu dövründe uzun bir periods varsa, uzun bir dönem varsa, we use in. Okay? Veya eski de gelecek de bunlarla da in kullanır, kullanırız. In the past, in the future. Thank you. And, okay, next one. On, days and dates. Günler ve tarihlerin karşısında on kullanırız. Mesela dersin ki, ben bu günde, bu ayda, bu yılda doldum. Nasıl söylersiniz? Let me help you. I was born on 25th of December 2010. Yani tarih olduğu için uh, 2010. yılın 25 uh, aralığında doğdum. Okay, I was born on 25th of December in 2010. Okay, so in this case we use on. Yani bu cümlede on kullandım çünkü burada tarih var. Veya uh, işe ne zaman gideceksin? When are you planning to go to, uh, to go to work? Ne zaman plan ne zaman gitmeye planlıyorsun? I am planning to go to work on the 6th of March. 6 Mart'ta gitmeye planlıyorum. Veya uh, bir günler olursa specific days, yani holidays. Uh, önemli bir günler. Christmas Day, Independence Day, Children's Day. For example, uh, the Children's Day is on 23rd of April in Turkey. Çocuklar günü Türkçe'de 23 Nisan'da. Nisan'dadır. Yes. Uh, tarih olduğu için ve spesifik bir gün olduğu için biz on kullanma zorundayız. Kullanmalıyız. On my birthday. Doğum günümde. Gün olduğu için on. On my birthday. On New Year's Eve. On Sunday. On Tuesdays. Uh, haftanın günleri. Fark etmez. Monday. Tuesday. Uh, Wednesday. Thursday. Friday. Saturday. Sunday. All of them are used with on. Okay. Yes, they are used with on. And Sula wrote on time. Yes, zamanında anlamına geliyor. On time. For example, don't forget to be on time. Unutma, burada zamanda olma. Yani zamanında gel. Come on time. Okay. Uh, dersi zamanında get. Uh, git. Go to the class on time. Uh, burada zamanında ol. Be here on time. So we can use on time at the end of the sentence. It means zamanında in Turkish. Great. So the thing I want you to do is having a notebook and taking notes. Uh, sizden istediğim şey yanınızda bir notebook. Uh, defteriniz herhangi bir not defteri olması gerekiyor. Uh, having a pen or pencil. And, um, and drinking. A nice cup of coffee or tea. Yani bir yanda çayda olabilir. Having a nice cup of tea or coffee. Which one you want? It is your priority. It's your preference. Sizin tercihiniz. Ve dinleyin. Uh, listen to us. Watch us. And learn from us. Yani dinleyin. izleyin ve öğrenin. Uh, review yapalım. Uh, onlarla ilgili tarihlerin ve günlerin karşısında on kullanırız. Önemli günler, yani bayramların karşısında on kullanırız. Haftanın günleri karşısında on kullanırız. Tamam mı? Don't forget please. We use on with days, dates, holidays and the days of the week. Great. Uh, let's review them again. At ne zaman kullanırız? Dakik bir zamanlarda. Uh, in ne zaman kullanırız? Ayların karşısında, mevsimlerin karşısında, yılların karşısında, uzun dönemlerin ve yüzyıllıklar karşısında. In the past diyebilirsiniz, in the future de kullanabilirsiniz. Ons, as I told you before, söylediğim gibi, tarihler, günler, önemli bayramlar, yani gün sözü yazılırsa bayramlardan sonra Christmas Day, on kullanırız ve haftanın günleri. Okay, uh, let's finish the first part of the lesson. Birinci uh, hisseni bitirelim. Birinci par uh, part bitirelim. İkinci partta we will have exercises and we will do them together. Have a like short break time and then we will continue. Okay, so see you after 15 minute break. <laughs>